Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Pieros, Mr. Joseph at Karaoke, and Pieros for inviting me and giving me this opportunity to share with the team. I, I'm actually shocked. I was being called as a guest speaker, but then I am actually challenged and inspired with the way how uh, the team is performing. I mean, people are sponsoring like crazy. You know, I soon I should be coming to learn practically how the team is able to sponsor and how they're able to have all these amazing results. So congratulations to all the achievers, to everyone that has done a lot of sponsoring, that has done a lot of sales, congratulations. And I, I, I really believe that you are, you are in the right team, following the right leadership, and uh, the sky is the limit. You know, uh, uh, if you don't know what you have, I'm telling you, your applying presidency members are my mentors. They inspire me so much. The kind of dreams they have been able to achieve are the dreams mm -hmm. that I'm actually looking forward to achieve. I always tell uh, Mr. Joseph that, that is driving my car, which I want to own very soon, you know? So it's quite inspiring. And thank you for giving me this opportunity. My name is uh, Muhumza Justus, and I've been uh, in this business for quite some time. I got started as uh, a very young man. I was only 20 years old. I was very small, very young. And um, a friend of mine invited me and told me, Justice, I know the challenges you're going through. At that, because at that point, I had registered for a dead year because my mother didn't have money to keep me in school. So my friend invited me and said, Justice, I can't pay for your school fees, but I want to invite you to come and have a look at a business that you can run as a student. They are not looking at your qualifications. They are not looking at, uh, you know, which family you come from. They are not looking at your level of education. The only thing that they are looking for is, do you have a dream? Are you ready to give it your best? Are you ready to go forward to, to really fight so hard? Are you ready to be trained so that you can be able to do what? To make money. And he told me that if you work with this company very hard and give it your best, within one year, you should be able to go to school. So I came in the presentation. I listened to quite a number of inspiring testimonies. I, I, I met doctors. I met engineers. I met lecturers doing the same business. I met my fellow students who are doing the business and they were living their dream. They were driving their cars as students through this business. So to my judgment, by the end of the meeting, I felt this is the place I belong. I felt I needed this business even more than the people that were already in the business. And I decided to give it a shot. I did not know that I had actually made a decision that was going to completely positively affect my whole entire life, my family members, my friends, I'm telling you, um, uh, this business has been so good to me. It's been so good to my family. I'm a family, I'm a, I'm a firstborn in a family of eight. And I'm telling you the same way how I was just from school. It's the same way my brothers and sisters were being just out of school. But today too have graduated. Next year I'm graduating a doctor. Next year I'm graduating a pharmacist. To about uh, three years from now, I'll be graduating an electrical engineer. My son goes to the best school around Kampala where I pay about $1,500, you know? I mean, it's quite, it's quite, it's quite in, in, in interesting how your life can be able to change by simply saying yes to this business. And now one thing that I always, uh, one thing that is always my prayer is that uh, when someone joins this business, they are able to understand it. They are able to believe in it. They are able to see that if this business can work for my uplines, who have done it and succeeded, this can also work for me. That is always my prayer. Because I meet so many distributors who meet a few challenges and they, and they want to give up. They want to give up on the business. They want to give up on their dream. I'm telling you, if you, one of the things that I pray for the people that are listening it today, if you are a new distributor, you're a manager, you're a senior manager, you're a director, I, I pray that you'll understand 
knee your life. You understand how to do this business. I pray that you listen to your uplines. I pray that every time you go into the field to talk to people, you organize appointments and people don't show up. I pray that instead of speaking to other distributors, I pray that you always speak to your uplines. Because whatever challenge that you're going to go through, your uplines have gone through them. Whatever challenges that you are going to meet in the future, your uplines have been able to do it, have been able to meet them. I'm telling you, my, my story is so successful. I was doing an evaluation of my assets that I've been able to achieve out of this business. I'm now worth about uh, 1.8 billion US, 1.8 billion Ugandan shillings. That is the, uh, the assets that I've been able to acquire so far out of this what? Out of this business. Now, I wonder if I had not started, where would I be? Where would my life be? You know, when I look at the things that I've achieved, and I, I look at if I had not taken time to listen to this, to understand this business, I think I don't even think I would be in this business at all. So one of the things that I'm going to encourage just the people that are listening in, one of the things that I'm going to encourage just number one is to be a very good listener. Listen to your uplines. When they tell you jump, don't ask why, just jump. When they tell you to invite, don't ask why, just do what? Invite. When they tell you to attend every single training, every single meeting, do not give any excuse. I remember there are some times whereby I had to walk like about, um, you know, ab about like uh, five kilometers for me to attend a meeting. Not because I wanted to, 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 to walk and exercise because it, I, I'm told it is healthy when you walk and exercise. But I'm telling you, I was walking not because I wanted, I was walking because I did have transport, you know. I meet so many people, we talk about attending training and they're, they're, they're giving excuses. I don't have internet, I don't have data, you know. I look at them and I'm like, man, you, 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 you know, you have also learned that you cannot give excuses and make money at the same time. It's completely not there. You had either give up the excuses and build this business and make money and be financially free, live a light of your dreams, or you had just to keep on giving excuses, how you don't have internet, how the meetings are too many, how the, the entrance fee for, for the meetings is high, you know. You, you cannot give excuses and make money at the same time. Honestly, you can't. At least that one I learned from the very start, you know. And then I also learned that, um, I mean, to be honest, when you get started in this business, you are going to meet some challenges. That one, I can guarantee you are going to meet some challenges. I remember person, uh, personally, when I got started, you know, they told me to come up with a name list. I'm very sure that your friends have told you about this. Create a name list, create a name list. Write down as many names as possible. Don't prejudge. You know, I made a name list. And after making a name list, I made a hot list. You know, a hot list are those people that you know that this one, if I speak to them about the product, they are going to buy immediately. This one, if I speak to them about the business, they join immediately. I had a friend called Isaac. And um, Isaac, I knew that I just didn't even have to present. All I did, used to, I, I had to do, was to show, tell him, please join and we make money. I went to Isaac, gave a call to Isaac. I said, Isaac, I need to see you this evening. I said, just that it looks like you have a burning, burning idea. So where, where can we meet? Come to my hostel. I went to Isaac's hostel. I mean, I, he saw me with a new life bag. I told him I started a great business that was going to change my life. I told him how I'd, you know, how I had, how I'd be just for a dead year. And then Isaac said, you know, just as this conversation is too long, we even need to have a cup of tea. Isaac, after making me a cup of tea, you know, he, he, he actually went under his bed and pulled a box full of expired products. And he pulled the kits and everything. Isaac spoke to me for two hours, how I was going to waste my time. How at least he has connections, how he should be able to get me a job that I can work, save some money and come back to school and focus on my books. I'm telling you, Isaac spoke to me about, about quitting this business. And uh, by the time I left Isaac's room, I even forgot my kid there, but I was determined to leave this business. On my way walking up Makere Hill, 
That's when a friend of my airplane gives me a call and said, just ask, where are you? You need to come for a training. And uh, I just said, let me go and speak to her and tell her how I'm going to leave the business. And I'm telling you that day I sat in front and uh, they, 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 the topic that day was actually how to handle objections and rejections. You know, they spoke to me so well. And I remember they told me a story of uh, three frogs. These three frogs went for a marathon. And as they were climbing up the hill, the other frogs that were not in the race started discouraging them and telling them how impossible it was going to be. In the middle of the race, two of them gave up and one only remained in the race. And it continued and continued and reached the top. After reaching the top, when they were interviewing it, how it had been able to make it, they only realized that it was deaf. So whenever they were saying that you can't make it, all it could see, it could see as if people were saying, you can do it, please go forward. So one thing I would love to tell you, never listen to any person who is telling you that you're not going to make it. Only listen to your what? Your applying presidency members, they have done it. They have seen all the challenges and um, trust me, if there are any people to guide you, they are the people that have invited me for this meeting. So you will meet some challenges. I remember in my very first five years in this business, it was difficult to do a hundred personal PV. I was a world member and I'm telling you as a world member, by the time a world member said it was hard to do a hundred personal PV. You may actually think it was a joke, but I remember there's a time it was month end. And, my, and the country manager had to lend me 14 points to reach my 100 as a wealthy member, you know? Until I sat down and I said, how come other people are doing it? Today we've recognized the superstar who has done 1,900 personal PV. I always want to advise that when you listen to someone that has done 1,900 personal PV, and for you, you struggle to do 100. After the meeting, get their phone number. Ask them, so how did you make it? How do you get customers? For me, it's a big problem. Mm -hmm. How are you able to do it, you know? Let them guide you. Good enough with this business. If I have done it, I will share out all my tips on how I've done it. I mean, we've been recognizing people are sponsoring. We have a superstar who is always beating East African personal sponsoring. I'm actually inspired that people are sponsoring uh, three people, five people in the team. You know, that means you've properly duplicated yourself. But in case you are there and your challenge is sponsoring, please, co please call your up and say, I'm actually even buying you a cup of tea, please, today. I want you to teach me how you are sponsoring seven people, how you are sponsoring 10 people, how you're sponsoring 15 people, you know, how you've been able to consistently for the last five years. I have seen your uplines be the number one in the personal sponsoring. So if you have such a kind of an asset on the team, you should not even think about this as a challenge. Please go to them and ask them, how are you able to make it? Because I want to be, in fact, I want to be better than you, isn't it? Yeah. So any challenges, please contact your what? Always contact your uplines. And then also the other thing that I've seen that has also helped me so much. Now, in this business, you will go only as far as the size of your dream. If you, your dreams, if your dreams are as big as the president's same size business, then you can be able to do it, to build a president's same size business. But if your dreams are small, then your business will be as small as what? As the size of your dream. So it all starts with the what? With, your, with the size of your dream. It all starts by you coming down, writing down your dreams, writing down your goals, you know? You, you, you want to believe it that I actually became a director in only, I became a director in three months, in the six months. And by the time I became a director, I remember in my first month, all I used to do was to mobilize people. And then I called my upline to come and present. In my fifth month of the business, when I was about to become a director, I did not know how to do a presentation. I didn't. I remember I, I, my uncle had mobilized 127 people and I'd made an app, uh, the appointments at 2 p.m. My appointment came at 6 p.m. 
And I'm telling you, I was standing, looking at all these 120 people, old men, old women, you know. And then this man who had organized told me, you know, people, I mean, we don't even know that you're applying. So please stand there and do what and present to us. I'm telling you, I stood there with my presentation chart in front of people with my product catalog. And I started reading the presentation guide as I was presenting to people. In that meeting, I even made a mistake. Instead of saying that, that you know, the fats, fats and sugars come last, but then me interchange the proteins came last, then the fats and sugars came before proteins. And I was five months old in the business about to become director. I was already doing 3,000 PV. But I'm telling you, people joined that meeting. I had 12 kids, 12 people joined in that meeting. I didn't even know, you know, I didn't even know how to present. I was checking out. Then after doing it, I'm like, okay, I think this is doable. but I can always do this presentation. And that was the time I started doing what? Doing presentations. And actually in that, exp that, that, uh, that experience taught me that if I was going to grow in this business, I had to own my business. I had to take a hundred percent responsibility and full charge of my own what? Of my own business. Trust me, if you want to grow this business, when your dreams and goals are clear, you have written them down and you have actually come up with your dream chart. The next thing is talk to your upline, learn from them as fast as possible. Acquire all these skills, acquire the presentation skills, Acquire the, the, the phone calling, making phone calls to make appointments. Acquire the skills of follow-up. Acquire the skills of, uh, you know, of, of, of getting the referrals, uh, getting an name list and everything. And then start doing these things on your own. The faster you learn these things, the faster your business is going to grow. So own your business. Take 100% responsibility of your what? Of your business. And you'll meet some challenges. I remember the month I had, when I joined, I had set a goal to become a dentist in three months. And I'm telling you, I, in my very first month, I sponsored six people personally. Together with my entire team, we sponsored 19 people. The second month, my team had gone to 48 people. In my third month, when I was saying that this is the month to become director, all my team members go into the warehouse and bought a product called Harborest and Relax. You know what that means. <laughs> All my team members came to me and told me, just as it's about time for exams, it's now time we cannot take these ZPVs and you know home, we need to take results home. All of them quit on me. And I remain with only three people on my team. You can imagine, you have a team of over 50 people and then you're back to what? Back to the basics back to inviting again. And that is why I say that you, it is your dream that actually helps you to go through such kind of challenges. I'm telling you, if my dreams were not strong enough, you wouldn't be hearing of this success story. I went back to the basics when my people quit on me, when the people th I thought were going to buy from me, when the, the people that I thought were going to join the business quit on me, when they left, when they couldn't join, I went back and started building a name list. That is when I started actually learning how to add a name into the name list. That's when I learned that every single day I am supposed to be adding at least three to five names into my what? My name list. That is when I learned that every single person I invite for a meeting and I speak to them about the business and they love about the, they love the idea. I will always ask them, now that you have loved this idea, as you're thinking about joining, do you have any five to 10 people that you can refer to me that would be interested in this idea? That's when I learned how to ask that question. That's when I also learned how to ask the question. Now that you have loved these products, as you're organizing yourself to start using the products, do you have like any five people that you think, you think I can reach out and speak to about information about health? That is when I started learning how to collect what? referrals but that was after going through a what that challenge and i'm telling you when i uh, one thing i also got to love and learn is that every challenge you go through it actually makes you a better person 
it makes you stronger. And I'm telling you, in fact, the more challenges that you are able to solve in this business, the further you are going to go, the more you're going to grow. In, in, in fact, if you do not, if you don't, if you make, you need to make challenges your best friend. If you don't meet challenges in this, in, in this business, that means you're not actually doing the business. Every single time my distributors don't call me complaining that they are meeting challenges, then I know they are not doing the business. Because it is obvious that as long as you are starting, you meet some challenges. But most of the challenges are because you don't know. Like I will tell you, the highest personal points I have personally made have been 4,800 points, personal. Now, 4,800 points, remember that I was someone who in the first five years in the business, I could not make sales, I couldn't do 100. Right now, as we speak, on the first day of the month, I have 800 personal points. The very first day of the what? Of the month. This month, I want to do at least a minimum of 4,000 personal per day. But how am I able to do that? It's because I was tired of attending recognition rallies, and I see people being recognized with 1,000, with 2,000, with 3,000, 10,000 personal PV. And I'm like, wait a minute. It is the same products. So we are living in the same environment. I mean, if it is for, if, if it is for example, like the excuses I hear most people give, so many products are expensive. Everyone missed that challenge. Why is it that they are able to do it and I am not able to do it? I sat down and I said, you know what? From today onward, you know, I was also, when people say this, when people, when people give excuses, by the way, I understand with them because I also used to give excuses, like products are expensive, people don't have money, you know, man, people have money. Today I received an order, today I received an order of $1,200 worth of cleaning products. And I'm telling you, people have money, people buy products. So if you are still there thinking things are expensive, people have no money. People have money. You see how, how, how number plates of cars are changing in, on Nairobi streets, and then you keep there thinking people have no money. People have the money. You know, someone once told me that if you have money, if you, if you think you don't have money and you think people don't have money, it is only in your pockets why you don't have money. Others people have the what? Have the money. You know, so sit down and learn these skills. Challenge yourself. Tell yourself, if these people are doing it, I also want to do it. I want to learn from them, you know. And as I conclude, one of the things that you're going to have to do is you need to be consistent in all these things. In using the products, be consistent. How did I manage to overcome the challenge of... Uh, complaining that people have no money, complaining that well, products are expensive. I mean, not being able to do 100 personal PV. For the first five years in the business, I was not serious on using the products. When I said I am going to start using the products, I started with the cleaning products. When I started using the cleaning products and I started seeing how beautiful they are, I don't know somewhere, somehow, I now managed to start convincing people that these products are not expensive. And people started buying. So do the basics, everything but they use the products. You cannot be able to build a huge customer base and convince people that these products are not expensive if you're not using them. Number two, attend every single meeting that is there. Attend as long as you qualify. Please do what? Attend. And then make sure that you share the, the opportunity. And then the other thing that you're going to do is about your daily activities. Your daily activities. You know, we will see uh, Joseph Patantiero's karaoke being successful, achieving their dreams. Man, those dreams have not all been achieved in their final year, no? They were building it right from the start when they joined the what? The business. They were prospecting. Prospecting is one of the things that you must do on a daily what? basis. You must add names into the name list. Today, social media is even making it very, very easy that I can sit and on my phone, 
and I have five to 10 contacts. I actually learned that from my peers. Peers was telling me that she has an hour every single day where she sits and connects with people via Facebook and gets contacts. That is how she's able to continuously be number one in personal sponsoring. I mean, adding names to the name list, that one can now never be an excuse. It is as easy as you listen to your applying to guide you on how she's able to do it. The number two, present. Prospect and then do what? Call these people, make appointments and present. Things are now even much easier. You can present to someone on the phone. You can send them a Zoom recording, you know? And then most importantly, follow up. Follow up, prospect, present, and follow up. Those are the three things that must be done by any what? Any serious business builder. Those are the three things. And as we continue building the business, I want you to look at the future, how beautiful it is going to be. Give it your best. Do these things consistently. Persist in this business. Because I know five to two to five years from now, you will even be sharing a better story than your what? Than your plans. So thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. Thank you so much, my mentors, inviting me to come and share my experience. And I believe that uh, the people who have been listening in, if you do these things that we have talked about, that I know you've listened to over and over again, if you put them in action, tomorrow you'll even be sharing much more inspiring stories than ours. Thank you so much and have a blessed evening. Wow. Thank you so much, uh, Justice. I, I think that is uh, what uh, we needed about this time. And I can see the team is very changed. You know, when a Ruby director speaks to you, team, you've no option than to become a Ruby director. And oh, therefore, yes. uh, just as you can be sure, you have just uh, planted some seeds that will take the team into a level of, uh, where we'll be called manufacturers of rubies. And uh, we are very proud of what you're doing in Uganda. Now to the team, I want to say this as we wind up. Uh, the odds that just us had to beat, they are just the same, same odds that if you are determined to beat, you do even more than he has done. And this month of uh, October, because I, I don't love thinking of yesterday, however good and powerful it was, that is past. Sometimes your enemy to greater success is the success you already have. So I want us to consider the past success as past, the past mistakes as past, and this month of October, we focus 100% on what we want to achieve. Let's focus on the step that you want. If you are a distributor, please make sure come rain, come sunshine, you take your next step to manager, managers to senior manager, executive manager, you know, and better still, I want all of us to keenly focus on the director step. That is where life starts. I don't know how many of us in the core are uh, committed and they are praying and they believe, they have faith that this month of October, they are taking their director step. You know what? Someone might be only a few weeks old in the business and by close of October, they close as directors. If you don't know how that is done, please you know, connect with your applying director and they'll guide you on the fastest way of becoming a director. Because we want everyone here to enjoy the lifestyle that directors are enjoying and the life that we are enjoying. So thank you so much, uh, everyone. And God bless us for uh, being here today. I want 